The social economy is formed by a rich diversity of enterprises and organizations, such as cooperatives, mutuals, associations, foundations, social enterprises and paritarian institutions, sharing common values and features Primacy of the individual and the social objective over capital Voluntary and open membership Democratic governance Combination of interests of members, users and or the general interest Defense and application of the principles of solidarity and responsibility Autonomous management and independence from public authorities Reinvestment of at least most of the profits to carry out sustainable development objectives, services of interest to members or of general interest Social economy enterprises and organizations have different sizes, ranging from SMEs to large companies and groups that are leaders in their markets, and operate in all the economic sectors. History Third sector Social economy studies the relationship between economy and social behavior. It analyzes how consumer behavior is influenced by social morals, ethics and other humanitarian philosophies. The social economy examines activity that is related to economics amongst the community and exposes the information to the community. This includes the social enterprise and voluntary sectors. A social economy develops because of a need for new solutions for issues social, economic or environmental and to satisfy needs which have been ignored or inadequately fulfilled by the private or public sectors. By using solutions to achieve not-for-profit aims, a social economy has a unique role in creating a strong, sustainable, prosperous and inclusive society. It is important for companies to be able to independently implement their own CSR initiatives as studies have shown that this will result be much more impactful than government mandated CSR initiatives. Successful social economy organizations play a role in fulfilling governmental policy objectives by increasing productivity and competitiveness. Contributing to socially inclusive wealth creation Enabling individuals and communities to renew local neighborhoods Demonstrating new ways to deliver public services Developing an inclusive society and active citizenship Defining the limits of a social economy sector is difficult due to shifting politics and economics, at any time organizations may be «partly in, partly out» moving among sub-sectors of the social economy. Social Enterprise Compass Organizations may be placed on the Social Enterprise Compass, which measures enterprises and organizations on a continuum between the private and public sectors. Horizontal Axis On the horizontal axis, each enterprise or organization is categorized by its ownership. On the left side ownership is by public authorities, and on the right side it is private industry. Private industry encompasses all economic activity with the capital of one or many private owners, with a view to making a profit for personal benefit. The owners supply financial capital and bear any risk. Public authorities encompass all economic activity in which public authorities possess the capital at the European, federal, regional or local level, this includes nationalized and public industries. Vertical axis on the vertical axis each enterprise or organization is categorized by its primary objective, from «social purpose» at the top to «commercial purpose» at the bottom. Social purpose is the primary objective of the enterprise if it meets the following criteria Ethical concept, core definition Mission key identification. The enterprise's primary objective is to improve the lives of disadvantaged people, provide support, advance social cohesion or improve the environment. Social economic creation of value and appropriation of earnings qualitative key identification. Profits and resources are verifiably reinvested for the benefit of disadvantaged people. If these criteria are met, an organization is at the top of the vertical axis. One criterion is a descriptive feature. Intermediary function – Social economical enterprises and organizations have an intermediary function between public and private, if none of the above criteria is met, or the primary object of the enterprise is commercial, it is located at the bottom of the vertical axis. Between social and commercial purposes If the above criteria are partially met, the enterprise is located along the vertical axis according to its self-definition. 
Topic: International comparisons. Topic: Canada. The definition of social economy used by the Chantier de l'économie sociale in Quebec follows, the social economy is made up of association-based economic activities founded on values of service to members or the community rather than only generating profits and seeking financial returns autonomous management not government controlled, democratic decision-making primacy of persons and work over capital Based on principles of participation, empowerment and individual and collective responsibility, the social economy includes social assets housing, childcare centers, etc. of community organizations social enterprises including co-operatives and revenue-generating programs of non-profit groups credit unions and social financing organizations like community loan funds training and skills development enterprises, and Sectoral and regional organizations, e.g., Renewal Energy Associations. The Canadian Community Economic Development Network is a national member led organization committed to strengthening Canadian communities by creating economic opportunities that enhance social and environmental conditions. The Canadian Social Economy Hub (CC Hub) acted as a facilitator between 2005 and 2011, promoting collaboration among six regional research centres across Canada: Quebec, Atlantic, Southern Ontario, Prairies, and Northern Ontario, BC, and Alberta and the North, and creating opportunities and exchanges with international networks. The Canadian Social Economy Research Partnerships (CSERP) was established in 2005 through a 5-year Social Sciences and Humanities research grant. Over 300 researchers drawn from universities and social economy organizations have created over 400 products including e-books, occasional papers and paper series. Topic: France. The term Social economy derives from the French Economie sociale, first recorded about 1900. The sector comprises four families of organizations co operatives, mutuals, associations, voluntary organizations and foundations, which, in France, must be of public utility. The social economy is a major sector, representing 10,3% of employment. Spain The first law of social economy in Europe was approved in Spain in early 2011. By 2013, the social economy in Spain represented 12% of the gross domestic product, with more than 44,500 businesses, more than 2,215,000 employees, impacting more than 16,528,000 associated people, and producing €150.978 million Euros in gross sales. Consequently, the concept of economia social is firmly embedded in the country's academic, political and economic institutions. The process of national political integration of the social economy in Spain started in 1990 with the creation of the National Institute for the Promotion of Social Economy Instituto Nacional de Fomento de la Economía Social INFES through Law 31 1990 by Spain's Parliament on 27 December of that year. The INFES replaced the former Directorate General of Cooperatives and Worker-Owned Societies Dirección General de Cooperativas y Sociedades Laborales of the Spanish Ministry of Labor and Social Security. Among its purposes was the promotion of social economy organizations and, for that reason, it created the Institute from among its members. When the INFES ceased operating in the year 1997, its tasks were assumed by the General Directorate for the Promotion of Social Economy Direction General del Fomento de la Economía Social and the European Social Fund. Law 27 1999 on cooperatives, of 16 July 1999, incorporated the Council for the Promotion of the Social Economy as the advisory and consultative body for activities related to the social economy, and its regulations were implemented by Royal Decree 219-2001, of 2 March, to authorize the organization and operation of the Council. 
Thus, this council is set up as the institution that provides visibility to the various organizations in the social economy. Furthermore, and due to the decentralization of powers that characterizes Spain's territorial system, there are different substantive rules regarding the various entities in the social economy whose regulation falls within the scope of the regional governments, giving rise to the existence of similar institutions within each autonomous community of industry participants. The different forms of cooperatives and, among them, the ones of associated workers, consumers, housing, agricultural, services, seafarers, credit, education, health, insurance and transport cooperatives, worker-owned societies and associations, foundations and mutual societies, insertion companies, special employment centers, agricultural processing companies and fishermen's associations share the guiding principles of the social economy. All these organizations are covered, directly or indirectly, by the aforementioned Articles of the Spanish Constitution. Their principles confer on them a distinct and specific character with regard to other types of commercial companies and organizations in Spain. A national confederation of social economy enterprises was established in 1992, CEPES Confederación Empresarial Española de Economía Social, to represent the interests of its membership and provide a platform for institutional dialogues with public authorities, and the organization has matured through the political integration. Today, CEPES is a confederation with national scope and cross-sector membership and is recognized as an institution of the highest level in Spain's economy. Each year, the organization collects data and publishes several reports on the state of the social economy sector in both Spain and the Mediterranean. Comparative data of the Spanish social economy relative to similar sectors in other parts of the world are also reported. Latin America. In Spanish-speaking Latin American countries such as Argentina, Venezuela and Cuba the concept of economía social is accepted. The government of Hugo Chávez believed that the informal sector could be absorbed into the social economy of Venezuela by strictly controlling or nationalizing large firms and creating new forms of private enterprise which were more accessible to the poor. Wage labor was seen as a source of exploitation, and the government hoped to reduce or eliminate it by promoting corporate governance, family and cooperative businesses and restricting labor contracts. The government planned to provide technology, training, finance and exclusive contracts to small enterprises so that they could survive in the national marketplace. Topic European Union At the European level, the French concept predominates. In 1989, the Dolores Commission established a social economy unit to coordinate the movement at the European level. However, official texts adopted the term cooperatives, mutuals, associations and foundations, CMAFs. Social economy is one of the nine themes of the 3 billion euros equal community initiative. The European Economic and Social Committee has published a study drawn up by CIRIEC International Centre of Research and Information on the Public, Social and Cooperative Economy on the Social Economy in the European Union, available in the 23 official languages of the Union. A more recent study was carried out in 2017 focused on the emerging new concepts related to social economy and on the new public policies related to social economy. The European Parliament established a Social Economy Intergroup integrating MEPs from five political groups and from six countries. Social economy represents two million enterprises, including mutuals and co-operatives and employs over 14 million paid employees in the European Union. In Ireland, the social economy is well funded, an example is rural transport schemes to assist the socially disadvantaged in isolated locations. United Kingdom In the UK, the social enterprise movement is where the discussions of much of the social economy are centred, with a social economy alliance created to support an ecosystem of social impact focused businesses and charities. It is also a phrase used by the Labour Party to describe the economy surrounding social enterprises in the UK. There is a Minister for Civil Society in the UK, who is expressly responsible for social enterprise and social investment. Topic New Zealand In New Zealand, there is an office for the community and voluntary sector, however, a research program is in progress as the study of the NZ non-profit sector. Topic United States The designation of sectors in this region is ambiguous. In the United States, it is equivalent to industry. The Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development defines sectors differently, depending on the statistical purpose. 
A sector can be a grouping of institutions, such as by government taxing authority, business taxable profit -making, philanthropy untaxed non -profit, and household taxable personal income. In the United States, where business preeminence is emphasized, organizational form differentiates conventional and hybrid business forms with the latter, hybrid organization having a social mission while pursuing profit. This is acknowledged in the tax codes of several states with such entities as the benefit and for benefit corporations. Although they are similar, they are not identical. This fourth sector differs from the third sector by its location in the United States and its emphasis on business as opposed to government leadership in the voluntary sector. Outside the United States governments establish national plans for the third sector, which formalizes the role of governments. In the U.S. such governmental planning is discouraged, market-based mechanisms are emphasized, such as social entrepreneurship. A discussion of sectors and social economy is in business with a difference, balancing the social and the economic by Mook, Quarter and Ryan, produced with the support of the Social Sciences and Humanities Research Council of Canada and furthering the work of the Association of Non-Profit and Social Economy Research India The cooperative movement in India has made remarkable progress, working more than 600,000 cooperatives and 250 million members, making it the largest cooperative movement of the world. Cooperatives have a huge network and unparalleled reach, with 100% coverage in 500,000 villages. Cooperatives play a pivotal role in the mainstream of Indian economy, particularly in the fields of agriculture and rural credit, distribution of agricultural inputs, storage, fertilizer, marketing, labor, micro finance, and housing, and cooperatives are working towards inclusive growth. Cooperative ideals and cooperative organization are more effective in meeting their people centered objectives. Cooperative provides third highest employment after private sector and government jobs. Social economy attempts to suitably blend economic feasibility with social reality. The cooperatives in India emphasize on equitable distribution of value amongst stakeholders. See also Civil society Cost the limit of price Social innovation Voluntary sector Volunteerism Online volunteering Solidarity economy Co-operatives Mutualism Social entrepreneurship References External links Le Chantier de l'économie sociale CIRIEC International – Centre International de Recherche et d'Information sur l'économie publique, sociale et coopérative European Economic and Social Committee Study – The Social Economy in the European Union Social Economy Enterprises – Section of the European Union The Social Economy Network Social Economy Greek Institute Network of Greek Social Enterprises Social Economy Bristol Canadian Social Economy Hub Canadian Community Economic Development Network BC Social Economy Roundtable Association for Social Economics Encyclopedic Dictionary of Public Administration, Social Economy Association Internationale de la Mutualité Social Economy Europe Further reading For All the People, Uncovering the Hidden History of Cooperation, Cooperative Movements, and Communalism in America, PM Press, by John Curl, 2009, ISBN 978-1-60486-072-6